Hello, I'm Jeremy Gray, and now it's time for another installment of Inside IU Women's Hoops Summer Edition. We're actually going to talk to the new assistant coach of the Indiana Hoosiers, Charlene Thomas Swinson here momentarily. But first, a little description of the room in which we're conducting this interview. This is a breakout room. It also doubles as the phenomenal women room. But this is a place where the coaching staff can get together, break out amongst position groups, look over film, have team meetings, while also basking in the glory of the phenomenal women who have been known to support Indiana women's basketball over the Coach Jack era. But first, we're going to talk to the new assistant coach here for the Indiana Hoosiers, Charlene Thomas Swinson. All right, now we're going to get to know the new assistant coach for the Indiana Hoosiers, Charlene Thomas Swinson. And Coach, first of all, welcome to Indiana. And second of all, uh, looking at your biography, you've got a wealth of experience. And let's go back to your playing days. Mm -hmm. You played at Auburn. You were a great player for a great team and a great era for SEC women's basketball. Talk about that experience playing at Auburn in those years. It was a it was an exciting time. You know, definitely within everything that we were able to accomplish uh, as a group uh, under uh, the helm of Joe Champy. Um, we had some great experiences. Um, young lady by the name of played alongside of Vicki Orr, who was a three-time Olympian, ended up being a three-time Olympian. A Rufy Bolton that ended up being a four-time Olympian, and, and, and several others. But um, you know, we just were able to enjoy. Uh, in my four-year stint of being there, I was able to get to NCAA tournament three of my four years. And so from my sophomore year on, it was an excitement, and you know, it was just kind of one of those hard work paying off kind of mentality. And it was very, uh, it was just very um, exciting. And if you look at it from a historical standpoint, that really appeared to be the era where women's college basketball really took off. The battles between Auburn, Tennessee, mm -hmm. Georgia in mm -hmm. those years were absolutely epic and memorable. Most certainly. And, you know, that's kind of how we prepared ourselves, you know, in our practices in reference to where we wanted to make certain we surpassed in reference to beating the Tennessee Helm uh, and um, the Georgia Bulldogs, as they would say. Um, I think the biggest thing, though, was just making certain that we were able to, we wanted to set our own footprints in, in reference to being able to start new uh, marks in reference to what we wanted to give to the game. Uh, and, and it was an, it was a really exciting time. It was a lot of hard work, um, but definitely work well, um, you know, well paid for in reference to what we were able to accomplish. And you were able to parlay your playing career into assistant coaching and learning opportunities uh, from your alma mater as well. Most certainly. Um, was able to actually, gra after graduating, I went back home to the D.C. area and, and worked in business management. That's what I graduated in and uh, worked as a part-time coach for three years. Uh, didn't think I wanted to, you know, the game kind of chose me in a way. Uh, it was a place I used to work out at, uh, Division three school, and just kind of helped out, you know, when I could. Uh, and then my former coach, found out uh, and Joe Champy called me back called me back to coach gave me an offer I couldn't refuse to work full time uh, and the rest has been history uh, went back and worked for him for four years and uh, within my fourth year of, of being there we were four points shy of getting into a final four uh, lost in the elite eight uh, and then I had an opportunity St. John's University offered me a head position and uh, it was attractive to me getting back, back closer to home, the East Coast, and uh, did that for three years. And a very good friend of mine, Carolyn Peck, who uh, at the time had um, had her own opportunities uh, to open up for her, um, had just won a national championship at Purdue, and she offered me a position uh, to work alongside with her in the WNBA. And so I thought it was a wonderful offer uh, to take up, and, and we did that for three years. And, and then I went right back into the coaching realms again collegially, uh, went to the University of Florida where myself and Coach Maury ended up crossing paths and uh, we worked together for two years. It was an exciting time in working with him and, and, and go figure, we end up back here again after I uh, go for a head coaching stint uh, at the University of Tulsa. So you've got head coaching experience, mm -hmm. high level assistant coaching experience in places like Florida mm -hmm. as well as Auburn, mm -hmm. but talk about the WNBA specifically and some of the things you learned there being around that great amount of talent. Elite athletes, you know, I think the biggest thing that um, I, I pull from that is just the reality of how universal our game is. Uh, even though there is a difference collegially to professionally, um, you know, in reference to gauging talent and, and, and the type of athletes you're dealing with, it's still the same cause. It's still the same um, 
path that you have to set or plan, if you will, in reference to being able to understand what it takes off the outside of the play games, you know, the play dates, uh, the hard work that you have to endure, the preparation that you have to go through in reference to having the product that you want to show on the floor. Um, but, you know, definitely a wonderful experience uh, in Orlando at the time. And, um, you know, within everything, had an opportunity to really coach some some fine athletes, uh, you know, in, in reference to the, the team that we were lucky to have uh, in Orlando all had been SEC, former SEC players. And that normally doesn't happen on mm -hmm. professional teams. Uh, and so young ladies that I had had an opportunity, not the fine opportunity to coach against uh, in the schools that they were playing at, um, but knew their talent, uh, knew what they could bring. But just the athleticism, um, the commitment, the hard work mentality uh, was one thing that was universal uh, from the professional side that I bring back. Um, and being able to give that to some of these young ladies collegiately. Well, if there is a Bloomington area husband and wife two-on-two -two basketball tournament, uh -oh. I'm going heavy on your family. Uh -oh. You were an outstanding <laughs> player. Your husband was as well Definitely. and ended up parlaying that into an NBA career. He yes. played for the Phoenix Suns yes. alongside Charles Barkley, another Auburn guy. Yeah. Yeah. What was his experience like that, battling Chuck in practice? Uh, very, uh, well, again, he was a sponge, really. Uh, you know, when, when you go into a situation like he went through where um, at that time Charles had had about 10 years Years of uh, vet experience he was the rookie you know so he had a lot of brunt of, of things that he had to take from Charles and could not dish it back <laughs> um, but competitively he said those practices were very competitive uh, and he wouldn't trade the experience for the world and then talk about what it was about the Indiana position that was especially appealing to you. Definitely just being able to come and, and, and coach alongside of, of Coach Jack. Uh, she is a tremendous uh, coach. Uh, actually, we crossed paths when she was at Syracuse. I was at St. John's. Uh, and uh, ironically, Coach Jack and I played against each other when she was at Syracuse as a player. So um, we've had some crossroads, but you know, just an ideal uh, and, and phenomenal woman in reference to what she brings to the table from an X's and O's standpoint. Point. And her experience, you know, to come from Michigan State with the things that she did and helping Joanne uh, McCauley. And ironically, that crossed paths because Joanne worked at Auburn as well. So just a lot of uh, close coaching ties, but, you know, just the respect that I, I have for both uh, Coach Jack and Coach Maury uh, and the excitement to be able to, to work and, and spend some time with Whitney Thomas because she was a phenomenal athlete herself in her right uh, in reference to what she was able to bring here at IU. Well, you can tell by the resume, a perfect fit here from Indiana, and she's also a perfect fit, as you can tell, personality-wise. Thank you so much for joining us on Inside IU Women's Hoops Summer Edition.